You don't have to tell the residents of Faulkton how important agriculture is to their local and state economy. It is all around them. In fact, there are five times more cattle here than people. But that hasn't stopped one young ranching couple from spreading the word about why farming and ranching is so essential to our nation's economic well-being. This week in Louisiana Agriculture's A.J. Sabine now tells us how ambush journalism prompted Troy and Stacy Hadrick to become national advocates for ag. On a blustery day on the Hadrick Ranch, Troy Hadrick makes his daily survey of his cattle. This ritual allows Troy to monitor the health and well-being of his animals. However, after a New York Times reporter maligned Hadrick and the beef industry, Troy the rancher became Troy the advocate. Our experience with Michael Pollan writing that article, you know, really changed our our outlook, I guess, and, and it and it taught us a, a it was kind of a hard hard to learn lesson that if we want the public to know and understand kind of where their food comes from and and kind of get an idea of what we do every day. Uh, we got to be the ones out telling that story. We can't Troy and his wife Stacy fought back. They started Advocates for Agriculture, a blog which chronicles topical ag issues. As interest in the blog grew, the couple set out to tell the story of agriculture on Facebook and Twitter. However, before they knew it, we uh, spoke at a South Dakota Women in Agriculture conference for 20 minutes. Uh, and it was a lot of preparation went into a 20 minute speech and and from there we thought wow well that that was fun and that went well and people received our message really well and about two weeks later we got a call to say could you come over and do the Wyoming Women in Agriculture conference and really from there it took off. In 2010 Troy posted this YouTube video where he challenged Australian winemaker Yellowtail in its support of the Humane Society of the United States one of the largest animal rights groups in the country. You know, here we had this company from outside the United States giving money to an organization here that was trying to, to put me and my family out of business. And so I, you know, at that point, it's, you have to do something. And so I wrote a, you know, wrote a, a comment on Yellowtail's Facebook page and just told them, you know, how this was going to affect me and my family and encourage others to do the same. And, and it really took off from there. Since then, Yellowtail has ended its HSUS donation program. When it comes to the cattle business, Troy and Stacy Hadrick have a simple philosophy. If you take care of the land and your animals, the land and your animals will take care of you. That simple approach applies to Stacy's advocacy work. Today, Stacy manages the couple's social media outreach with daily tweets and Facebook posts. Between the cattle operation, the farm crops, and three young children, Stacy feels gratified that they can both contribute to and connect people with agriculture. I am so proud that we take care of our livestock like we do, that we balance our rations. I mean, there's certain times of the year that Troy spends more time out with the cows than he does with us here. Prospectively, both Troy and Stacy Hedrick say all farmers and ranchers must do their part as advocates for agriculture. It's not as hard as a lot of people think. It's We haven't had to uh, invent anything to say. We just speak from our heart. Um, we, we're, we're experts in our own personal experiences. I'm an expert in what I do every day out here on this ranch, and, and that's the story I tell. It's just simple little things, because you can tell your story in any way that, that fits you. You've got to be you. It's got to be your story. We can't cookie cutter it. and we, it's, it's giving people, though, empowering them with the tools that we talk about to help them go out and, and tell their story and connect with people however they can. As a fifth generation cattle producing family, Troy and Stacy Hadrick hope to leave agriculture better than they found it through advocacy, education, and inspiration for generations to come. In Falkton, I'm AJ Sabine for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Troy and Stacy Hadrick have been recognized by the American Farm Bureau Federation and Beef Magazine as one of the nation's top young ranching couples. The Hadrick's blog, Advocates for Agriculture, was named one of the top 20 agriculture blogs by Symmetrics.com, a technology company that manufactures farming irrigation systems. For more information on the Hadrick's and their Advocates for Ag program, you can visit our website at twilighttv.org.